Another man's soul is a thick forest in which one must walk with circumspection. So I shall reveal my own soul to you myself before it is too late. The text for all the shows comes from the composer's letters, love letters, diaries, um, other people's recollections of them, and I put them to together in the way that tells a story and that the pieces fit around them so that the whole evening makes you feel like you learned about that composer. My father embraced me in a flurry of love. Oh, my boy, my boy, he cried, slapping the back of his new chevalier with repeated blows from his brush and shoe. In that brief moment, I felt at last that I had been good for something. The idea for these shows came from me talking too much in my own recitals about the pieces that I was playing and uh, reading extracts of their letters and diaries and then thinking there must be some way of putting these together so that they segue properly. I confess that some of these pieces are beyond me, technically. They strike fear into your fingers. Mine come to a halt when faced with certain passages. I have to get my breath back, like after a climb. Truly, this music hovers on the limits of performance. In this one, for the eight fingers, the changing position of the hands make the use of the thumb impossible. It requires an acrobat. Debussy was quite naughty, he had a lot of affairs, and although he was probably not the Tom Cruise of his time, looks-wise, a lot of women loved him. And they loved him because of the music, didn't they? They loved him. Well, that's what he says, anyway. <laughs> There were, how shall I say, quite a few women at this time. The singer Therese Roger was one of them. She was ravishing and young. It was like a fairy tale. I thought I'd been in love with her for a long time, but in retrospect, I should not have asked her to marry me. I was, after all, still living with Gabby. Sigismund turned a blind eye to his wife's infidelity. He used to smile when asked about the men in her life and say, Emma treats herself to the latest fashion in musicians, but it's I who have the money. She'll be back. She didn't go back. We eloped to the Grand Hotel in Eastbourne, which became our home for several months. As somebody who doesn't know much about Debussy, um, I've learned an enormous amount doing it, so presumably the audience, hopefully, will have the same experience. I've always tried to do something different, an effect of reality. People do me a great honour by calling me a pupil of Claude Monet. I suppose I use blocks of sound like he used blocks of colour. What's interesting about doing these shows is that people can come to them and they know nothing about the life of the composer, or they, they need to know nothing, and they can come away feeling they know the man who wrote that music. Of all the arts, surely it is music that is closest to nature. Music is not just the expression of feeling, it is the feeling itself. <laughs> 